Hi right, guys, this is in Amiga 4 and this is going to be a quick browser test and a comparison between the Samsung Galaxy S2 on the left and Samsung Galaxy S3 on the right. Um, what we're going to be doing is just having a quick look at some websites and how they handle text and images and then do a quick uh, Velimo benchmark at the end. So just to show you, first of all, both these devices are running uh, Android Ice Cream Sandwich. Whoops. As you can see, the S3 is running 4.0.3, sorry, 4, and the S2 is running 4.0.3. Now, both uh, the browser caches uh, and the cookies have been cleared. There uh, should be nothing running in the background if we have a look. Just the uh, menus that we had running there. Uh, so what we'll do is first load up the browser on both, and it loads up Google, which is fine, fair enough. You should have noticed uh, a blue status bar that runs across uh, across the top um, when the browser's loading up a page on the S3, just symbolising when the page is fully complete. And on the S2, it's a green one which loads across the top. So that's what I'm going to be using as an indicator to see when the page is fully loaded. So first of all, if we go to uh, bookmarks, what we're going to do is load up uh, the BBC's homepage uh, and then let's have a look. Uh, yeah, that should be it. Look at the bar on the S3. I think they actually, the S3 looked as if it was going slow, but They've, I think they finished both at the end. We'll click continue because it's taken us straight through to the mobile site, which I'm not really interested in that. What we want to do is go to the desktop site, which we've got a links to on the bottom. I think the S3 had that ever so slightly, but they were both very quick. So we'll just zoom in. On the S3. It doesn't seem to, it does scroll fast, but it doesn't seem to scroll just as fast as the S2, I don't think. Where it is, I think the S2 is slightly more snappier. When it comes to that, the S3 is a bit more smoother. Text obviously renders pretty quick. Refocuses in pretty quick as well. You can see the color looks a, uh, a lot more vibrant in the S3 than it does in the S2, a little bit more sharper as well. While we're on the BBC's website, what we'll do, I know the news pages have a lot of content on, so we'll just zoom in there. Just see how quickly they load. I think the S3 had that ever so slightly. But again, both were very quick. The zooming in is very smooth on the S3. But I think the, the scrolling is not as snappier as it is on the S2. But it is faster there, actually. There it seemed a little bit... Again, that's always been really quick. It's a bit rather than smooth. It's, it is, a, as I say, a lot more snappier. Do just zoom in. Picture Big Ben there. picture again looks slightly sharper on the S3 with the I think the amount of detail looks about the same but the color looks slightly better we'll just come out of those but again both browsers loaded up very quick so if we just go to another page we'll go to 
Uh, let's go to Yahoo. S2 had that one. See the bar still going across on the S3 there. So I don't know if that's the content on Yahoo's just taking a little while longer to load. But S2 had that one and uh, just ever so slightly. Too. Again, it's a little bit more snappier than smooth. Depends what you prefer, I suppose. But if you zoom in, let's have a look at the picture quality. Well, again, we're zoomed in quite heavily there, so the S3 seems a little bit more brighter. The amount of detail looks about the same there, but. But you can see the content, the flash that's loaded uh, on the S3 there, still moving around. Okay, so we'll just go to another page. Go to the bookmarks again. There we go. Ooh. Selected the wrong page. That doesn't matter because that's gone to uh, the mobile site and I didn't want it to go there. So we'll just go to the Guardian there. Let it load the mobile site because we're not interested in that scroll down to the bottom and go to the desktop one there we go look at the bars they're right at the end but still I think the S3 had that ever so slightly because there's a lot of content on the, on the new sites you can see it's pretty much there no wait for loading or anything like that Oops. If you zoom in, look at the color detail on the Queen's face. It's uh, the colors a lot more brighter, uh, and the detail stands out a little bit more on the S3, uh, as you'd expect with a with a HD 720 screen. Uh, it will look brighter and a, a lot more detailed than the, the S2, which doesn't have a HD screen. Seems a lot smoother. The S3, zooming in and zooming out, does seem a lot more smoother. Let's have a look. text refocuses in pretty quick as you'd expect because it's just text, it's not images or anything like that. Obviously we're zooming in quite heavily to the pictures so they're not going to look their best. As you can see the, the amount of detail on the S3 is a little bit better and a lot more brighter. The colours don't seem as dimmed down as they do on the S2. I think the screen does wonders for the S3. To be fair, as you, I'm sure you'd agree, it looks a lot more brighter even looking at just the page as a whole. The amount of detail on it itself is uh, better. And we'll just come out of that and both those now uh, and just make sure there's no, no browsers running there. I might as well just clear the memory on both. Okay, so what we'll do, we'll load up uh, the Velomo browser benchmarking tool. There we go. Now this may take a little bit of time, but I won't cut any of uh, the footage out, I'll just fast forward it. Right, as the, as the Galaxy S2 took 
a lot while longer to finish that test. I think it actually failed on, uh, I think it was a ocean and the image writing and the text flinger, sorry, image flinger and text flinger uh, parts of that Velamo benchmark. Uh, with that in mind, it's now finished, you know, obviously minutes behind the Galaxy S3, which didn't fail on anything it looked like. So the scores for the Samsung Galaxy S2 are 1,150 and the Galaxy S3 is 2,231. Regardless of what the, the Velamo score is, I still think that the browser on the Galaxy S2s is actually awesome. Um, it responds really quickly, it's really snappy um, and if, whatever you want to put it, it just goes. I think the Galaxy S3 uh, browser is again very good browser because it comes from the uh, Galaxy S2 it just improves upon it and with that great display that you have on the Galaxy S3 it just makes the browser look even better uh, I think it's not as snappy as the Galaxy S2 browser but it's still nonetheless still very very good uh, any questions or comments please hit them up below hit subscribe from button button up top there it doesn't cost you anything it's free thanks for watching have a good day and goodbye.